Okay, that big question when it comes to 12 volt solar systems on RVs, camper vans, caravans, what have you. Uh, series or parallel? Well, that depends on a few things. First thing is you've got to decide what kind of charge controller you're going to use. This one is a cheap pulse width modulator or PWM charge controller. And the other type you can get is a little more expensive, although they have come down in price greatly, is something like this. And this is an MPPT charge controller. So maximum power point tracking. The difference between the two, this little cheap one here, will pull your panel voltage down to battery voltage and you will never get the full output from your panels. In this case here, these little energy panels I have here have a maximum working or a working voltage of 17.5 volts and a maximum current of 0.57 amps. That gives you 10 watts. If we go and use one of these PWM charge controllers, that brings the voltage down to battery voltage, let's say it's 12.5 volts at 0.57 amps and that is the maximum power you get for your battery. The MPPT charge controller does not do that. <clears throat> that allows for maximum power point tracking. So if you're in full sunlight, your panel voltage will remain at 17.5 volts at 0.57 amps. It then transforms that down into a lower voltage, but a higher current, ensuring you get the maximum power out of your solar panel. So if we've decided to use an MPPT, which I highly recommend, um, the best setup is to put your panels in series. And the reason for that is you double the voltage, but you halve the current. Now you must also make sure when you do this that the PWM, uh, the MPPT charge controller can accept that higher voltage input. So these have an open voltage of 21.5. So two in series would mean we have 43 volts. So you must get a charge controller that will accept 43 volts. Why series and not parallel? In parallel, we will double the current um, at the working voltage. In series, we double the voltage at the working current of one panel. And the reason we want to keep the current low is because every single lead between your solar panel and your battery has a resistance. The less current we pass through that resistance, the less um, power is lost through ohmic losses. The other thing you have to make sure of is that your solar panel that you are using has a bypass diode. Now being a Renergy panel, I actually haven't looked yet, but being a Renergy panel, they always come out with bypass diodes. Let's hope this one doesn't prove me wrong. And there we go. So there is our bypass diode. So these ones are suitable for series connections. Now, if they didn't have the bypass diode and we shaded one panel, that would also drop the other one out, which is what we don't want. But good quality panels, a good quality charge controller, you can't go wrong. Uh, in all my installs on caravans, I use Renergy panels, um, and that is where I can't fit rooftop solar panels on the top of that van. So um, I do recommend energy panels they're very good and every single one i have tested in the midday sun in summer always outputs more than it is rated for unlike the cheaper brands that never output as much as they're rated for so that's about it if you have all that an mppt charge controller that can accept the higher voltage um, and you also have good quality panels with the bypass diodes, put them in series. If you want to dump 
nearly half the energy out of your solar panel by using the cheaper PWM charge controller then you must put these in parallel because these do not accept the higher voltage and it will just pull it down to the voltage of the battery anyway so I hope that helped and cleared a few things up and in the next video we're actually going to be testing these panels under controlled conditions so um, we're going to be doing some shading tests in the series connections